everybody so another little run today went out the door and it was raining so I had a choice I could have waited another hour and it wouldn't have been raining but instead I thought you can't predict the weather on the day so why not get my waterproof out which is in my pack anyway stick it on and let's get running this is a Salomon Bonatti jacket I've actually had very little use out of it because typically it's not raining when I've been for a run I use it more casually but obviously so I thought let's practice what it might be like running with it at least whilst it's raining so I'll catch up with you shortly we're gonna do another part of the ultra course but I'm gonna run to the destination and kind of run back through it so I'll explain more when I get there Okay, a little shortcut through the woods today to get to our start location. The idea is this, I don't know if you recall, but the other day I mentioned that when I started the latter half of the Ultra, um, the destination I need to be at for the final leg was a few kilometres back. Well, I want to go to that destination today, so find it, which I know where it is, find it, start, and then kind of run back home so I'm just basically adding on what I didn't do the other day just to give myself a more rounded picture of the route itself I uh, shouldn't be too far but uh, I thought it's best to get it covered nonetheless because uh, at least I know what that full final half looks like the route itself and I can begin work on the first and middle sections of my ultra so let's catch up with you shortly so last time my legs felt after my two long runs, which essentially were two half marathon distances a day apart, rest day in the middle, and they felt absolutely fine. And that's because of my nice, relaxed, slow pace, I'm sure of it. So running at a 6.10, 6.15, 6.20 even, has made it possible for me to not only enjoy it, but just to feel like when I get home, I'm not dead on the floor. And, uh, that's been really positive for me to experience actually. Now, what I also like is, when I look at my splits, I can still then put in a fast 5.30, 5.20, 5.10 at the end, and still feel fresh. So, that's given me the kind of right mindset where I know that I'm doing everything I'm supposed to be doing to stay fit and healthy and be able to train the way I'm training. Remember, I'm not here to win the ultra, I'm here to complete it. And it's going to be a big, big, big day for me. Actually, it's not too many weeks away now. my jacket off I was holding it for about 10 minutes but I decided to put it away and that's what you just saw now it's raining again so never mind just gonna leave that for the moment not necessary but high, highly typical of course so typical I've taken a wrong turn I've ended up on a main road and it is not nice not nice at all blind corners I'm just trying to basically stay as safe as I can oh blind bends horrible I know I'm going to end up but I should never have come this way never ever oh my fault we just took a, a right instead of a left uh, whoops anyway we we'll get back on track in a sec. I hate main roads. I hate them. So, this train station here marks the 38 kilometer point and the second to last aid station for the ultra runners and the 21 kilometer halfway point aid station for the marathon runners. So, for me, especially, the aid station will be really important because whilst I'm going to be self sufficient anyway, that's going to take me through marathon distance 
before I get to the next aid station, which is 50k. So I just need to make sure when I get to here that I'm well stocked up. If I need extra water, I need extra bits and pieces, I do take that on board because the next stop is going to be my furthest distance run ever. And uh, I think that final aid station, I want to get to feeling great or as good as I can rather than get to feeling like I didn't prepare properly at this aid station, I left myself feeling short of either nutrition or hydration. Nearly got to the destination before we're going to turn around and run the route back. Um, two more dogs confronted me. I'm quite conflicted with it because we're on a kind of riverside path and of course let the dog off a lead. But given that it's quite a busy path with walkers, cyclists, other dog, dog walkers, I'm always a little bit confused why you wouldn't at least attempt to bring the dog in a little bit closer especially because of visibility I can see right down the river here so I knew people were coming up upon me but uh, I mean the dog's been perfectly pleasant but as I mentioned the other day I don't really want them jumping up on you in a playful manner it's not really my deal but each their own anyway we are almost there now okay so we're at this pub here now, a few kilometres down that way uh, would be the 30 kilometre aid station for me. So, um, if I confuse you at the start of the video, I've also confused myself. When I speak about running the final third, the actual final third was back at the other train station, obviously, because that's half marathon distance to go, 30 miles. So, when we get to here, I imagine then we've probably got, I don't know, 16 kilometres to go, 16 kilometres, 16 miles, 17 miles to go, something. Uh, like that because if we take it from 30 well obviously that'd be 20 miles to go so about 17 miles from here so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna run to where I started my long run the other day and that was in 18 kilometers to the end so let's just do a little uh, check and see how far we go uh, but overall good about an hour in and uh, yeah let's go on I'm enjoying myself so let's keep rolling generally speaking this part of the course is flat or downhill there is this uphill here it's not too bad it probably will feel a lot worse on the day but otherwise it's quite a, a steady nice relaxed route to run on um, as you know if you watch a video of the day you see then what the route looks like thereafter but overall I'm feeling very confident about this section very very, very comfortable with it no well so hopefully this should give me a little bit of headspace when I'm running just to start thinking about that final half marathon getting a good mindset again I mentioned mindset a lot this is the whole point of this training is uh it is for time on legs but actually it's for this if I know confidently what the route looks like if I can visualize myself getting past all those obstacles and achieving each section one at a time and I'll get to the finish line. That's what it's about for me. Visualization, feeling comfortable, feeling good. And uh, yeah, that already paid dividends on the day. It's starting raining again, but I feel like a bit of a cool down. So I'm just gonna leave the jacket off. Plus also, those waterproof jackets are like an inferno inside. They seem to cook you, so I don't really feel like getting any warmer right now. Yeah, Mother Nature one got a lot worse. Had no choice but to put this jacket on. And uh, about 5k from home. And uh, yeah, I'm now soaked. I left it a little bit too long before I put this jacket on. And anyway, it doesn't matter. Nice shower, isn't it? Before the shower. <sighs> this wasn't predicted. Let's get home. I didn't get the camera up because it was really pouring, but it was about 8k to where I started my long run of the day. So in total 18 plus the 8, 26, it's about 16 miles like I thought from the pub to the finish line so it's a good good thing to note it is beautiful but uh, this rain certainly came from nowhere and uh, the trees keep emptying uh, all the water onto me uh, and then when you run through the undergrowth it just soaks your legs but uh, something magical about it something really magical about it well, there it is. 
19 and a half kilometers. Finished with some rain. A good overall run, I uh, can't complain. Great fun, uh, learning a lot every time I go out. Shoes feeling good, socks feeling good, everything feeling uh, where it needs to be really. So uh, yeah, onwards and upwards, I'll catch you for the next run. And uh, thanks again for sticking with me, I really appreciate it. And hello to the new subscribers. Uh, you're most welcome. Please feel free to drop a comment and engage with the community. We love you being here. Next season.